waking up, squabbling amongst themselves. Can it be true? The advice we can get is that it's not true, but mind you, the Midas tiring just a little. However, Hey Jude was their biggest hit, and New Album is doing beautifully. But still, there is the matter of a big corporate bid to form a pop conglomerate. And George Harrison told our Carl Charlson a bit. Now, when our manager died, that we involved with a hell of a lot of things that we didn't particularly want it in, or that maybe we did want to be involved in, but we did nobody else to be involved in. So really, Apple was, it was Beatles Limited, which we changed into Apple, and we tried to pull all our own affairs together into one company, and we liked, uh, thought of the idea of being able to do rec without having to go to somebody and say, please, can we do it? Which uh, we still had to do even um, two years ago. The whole the, the source of our success was really trying to be ourselves, get control of ourselves. Now, finally, we've got all the same control of ourselves, which is a bit dodgy because then it's the responsibility that we can be in control of ourselves. But um, there was a mistake made when Paul and John are from New York that what we want to do is help everybody, all those people who have to go down on their knees to big build them so that they don't have to go down on their knees. In actual fact, that was a mistake. Yes, we would like to do that. But the trouble is that to find really talented people, you have to go and find them. You come across them occasionally. The knock on your door from dawn till dusk, begging for money and rake, are usually the people who have no talent at all. So we put ourselves a little bit because we have all these people come in expecting us to just give them 500,000 pounds to make a film or to do a record or do this or do that. So we can do that, but only in moderation because if we watch it or we'd run out of money, then we wouldn't be able to help 